All right, we need to get to our next guest. He is uh, a singer, and he's been on the show before. Uh, he was on the show last year, and we uh, learned a lot about him. Uh, he is uh, primarily works within the 80s new wave genre. He was uh, uh, very popular back then. Please welcome to the show, back to the show, Martin Sheffield Lickley. Hello. Hello, hello my darling lovelies. Hello. How are we doing? I'm good. It's very nice to see you. This is Chelsea Peretti. Hello, Chelsea. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, that's good. My homage. <laughs> uh, Martin, uh, let me remind our, our listeners and Chelsea here, who was not here when we recorded last and probably has not listen to the episode, although... I, I listen every You do! Week I know you're a day, big fan. Month. Every weekday. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are a singer. That's correct. Uh, you had uh, uh, a band? Uh, yes, a musical two combination. plus two equals love. Two plus two equals is love. Is the name of my band, but you, you'll have to forgive me. Um, I'm a bit of a sourpuss today. Uh, I'm so too. sorry. Uh, a yeah, long right. story. <laughs> You were, uh, 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 but I've had creative differences with my band. Oh, I see. Two plus two equals love. All right. So well, I've, the last time that we we heard from you, you were still in the band. Two plus two equals love. That's right. And we caught up with you because you had had uh, several singles where you talked about various tragedies. Yes, uh, I lost my wife. I lost my son. I oh. lost my postman. I lost. Oh. I knew. I know one person in every cemetery in, in the world. Well, no, in America and the America. UK. Oh, okay. yes. And Were you close with your postman? Because oh it's... my God, yes. I mean, I see him all the time. Martin Still. would forge just these white hot relationships. Well, yes, we were very will they, won't they, and he would deliver my mail. <laughs> <laughs> there was a question whether he would deliver. Deliver your mail or not? Well, we will where they won't they. I mean, it's right there in the whole rhyme. He always Neither hail, would. nor rain, nor sleet, nor yeah. snow. He but always not, would. Not since the shutdown. Oh, that's true. That's, that's a good true. Point. That's Political. true. But yes, I have mm. split with them, and I am a solo artist now. You're a solo artist. Well, yes. congratulations. Thank that's you. Wonderful. Thank you. Yes, I taught myself how to use a drum machine and a synthesizer, and now I am making the music that I really want to make. So your band members were primarily uh, in in charge of the drum machine and the synthesizer. <laughs> yes. And you were in charge of vocals. Yes, absolutely. Yes. That was the uh that's how you split up uh the 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 jobs. Yeah, me, drumming machine and synthesizer. And so we, now now you're doing all now of them. Now I'm doing all of them yeah. and uh, you know, I'm done with that top 40 horse shit. Oh, okay. I you know, I must I'm confess for. I had never heard any of your songs <laughs> before you did the last episode. So I don't know that they were in the top 40, but we, they were well, aspiring to be they in the top. Were, 40. They were they were top okay. 40 esque. Um, mm, that's but interesting. <laughs> they, uh, you know, my new music is is music that I've always wanted to write. So this is a change of pace. Exactly. Now, yes. I, I remember uh, Garth Brooks, uh, Chelsea. I don't know if you're a Brooks head. Oh, major. Remember when he uh, uh, got that alter ego, uh, Chris, uh, what was his name? Chris Gaines, remember? And he just, he wanted to do more like uh, uh, personal music, mm -hmm. not in the country genre. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would imagine Very. that. Very yep. similar what I'm doing. I mm -hmm. mean, I haven't changed up my look much, but my songs are now they're raw. How would you roar. describe your look? I mean, uh, I, I I look like a cold tan bird, right, with yes. no feathers, right. Mm. <laughs> so That's something accurate. very cold, but has just gone on a trip. Yes, just because well, you know I just went on a trip because I'm <laughs> tan. Yes, that's the, our one right. piece of evidence. Exactly. But I took a trip away from my bandmates. But my new music is it's roar. It's and it's me bearing my soul. Is, you mm. mean roar? Like you're saying raw? I think it's roar. his English. Yeah, it's his uh, so not, not roar because Katy Perry did that. No, right. no, no, no. It's raw. More it's his English roar. accent. He's from the southern part of English. Yes, England, oh, so I believe. Bringhamton. Bring. Well, uh, I'm actually from Wilkinshire, Dirtshire, Flat Groundshire. Oh, I ran through that field. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, it's, right? It's, it's, a, it's I think I wouldn't 13, say beautiful. But it's not beautiful. It's, it's urban. It's yeah. 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 Yes. It's yes. a field yet somehow urban. <laughs> Very. Yeah. A lot of trash money. in it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is rural, but yeah. it feels urban, yes, yeah. 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 <laughs> but I wrote uh, uh, my my new song is a. Is, this is me bearing my. This is and this is more personal music for you, even though your previous songs were seemed very personal about your son being dead. Yes, no, this is very personal. This is more personal than those. Way more personal. How I'm, old was your son when he died? 
He was eight years old. Oh my god! It was yeah. a big tragedy. He he wanted to write a Tears in Heaven type song. Right, I was gonna say, but his yeah. son didn't fall big out the window. No, yeah. my song, my son died of emphysema, so it was a different song than Are Tears you a in smoker? Heaven. No. I'm not. No, you've never seen that video. <laughs> There's that little video, that little kid smoking ciggies. Yeah, the little YouTube yes, video. Yeah. My son watched that, and started smoking cigs. Oh god! And then and you've never seen that video, so you're... I won't watch it. Because if well, you do, how could you now? Yeah, no, it's killed so many people. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this new song is is me bearing my soul. You've said that several times, <laughs> and I'm excited to, to hear it. Yeah, so... Can I ask you one question? Yes. Did you bring some of these songs? I did. I have them here. We have Okay, them. well, why don't we hear some of them? This is this Martin Sheffield Lickley. This is me bearing my This is you bearing your soul. soul. Here we go. Hit it. I'm working out the love gym where the muscle you train is your heart instead of punching bags they have kissing bags and the personal trainer is your wife the love gym charges a membership but instead of cash you pay with a hug love gym don't got a swimming pool instead they got a kissing room a kissing room is a room where you kiss don't understand i explained it clearly the love gym don't have any towels you wipe your sweat with little chocolates there are no trebles and there are no weights all it has is a kissing room the love gym is not a very good gym if you want to work out go to a normal gym a normal gym the love gym a belly total fitness, but for love instead. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm like crying. <laughs> That's thank you. So personal. Thank you. Remember, you can't trust anyone. That's the <laughs> Is, message. That of was that the song. theme of that. I, uh, maybe I didn't get it yeah, from that. But re, uh, can you see it again? No, re- <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Wow, amazing. Yes, Martin. and also just it's it reminded me of some of Beyonce's music where you're really tripping over the words so quickly, and <laughs> yeah. there's no way I could karaoke that because it's no like clear rhythm. No, or yeah, and also the words would turn pink so quickly yeah, I wouldn't you'd know be exactly. Racing and rushing. Well, the yeah. key to good music is to take the biggest inhale of your life yeah. and then speed through it. Uh-huh. Mm. So what what was that song based on? You mentioned it was personal, but uh, it seemed to be about some sort of a uh, Bally's gym. <laughs> a gym with chocolates. <laughs> okay. And no well, that was obvious. Room. That was me. I've been I'm dealing with right. tragedy. De- you're dealing with stuff. Uh, you did that mention- a metaphor. You mentioned the trainer is your wife, but wasn't your wife dead? <laughs> well, she was, but it's a metaphor. Uh, oh, okay. Got it. That's you know, actually- The wife planes, is a metaphor. Planes, the gym is real? Wheels. Yeah, it's all a metaphor. Okay, it, everything is a metaphor. Everything the gym, is a the metaphor. wife, yeah, the, all yeah. the fixings. Okay. But it was devastating. You know, my former bandmates, they continue to tour as they do. two plus two equals love. That doesn't seem right. I mean, it seems like, you know. I uh, know, it's awful. And they have a new lead singer. Who's this? Fathington Cheshire Davies. Oh, no. I know. Oh. We got to get him on the show. That daft boozer. <laughs> but he's so hot and his Instagram is amazing. Chelsea. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> he has an Instagram? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's you, on it? Um, lots of like what's on it? Shirt, <laughs> it. Shirtless what's selfies. On it, Chelsea? <laughs> lots of like shirtless selfies, and he Father does Ted. peace signs. Oh my gosh. god! Well, I've already written a song about him. I'll have to add that into it. Mm. You've written a song about yeah. This far, what's his name again? Farthington, Farthington Cheshire Davies. You've written a song about yes. Him. This next song about it is about what it's like to get stabbed in the back. Oh. Hit it. By the bug of love, it laid an egg inside my heart. I went to the doctor to see him. He said my stomach was full of love eggs. The doctor prescribed me 100 kisses. After that, he said the eggs would hatch. So he kissed my stomach 200 times, and then the eggs did their hatching dance. Now my stomach is full of bugs, and my heart is full of love. This is an accurate metaphor for how all people fall in love. Love eggs, love eggs coursing through my veins. Love eggs, love eggs, they're eating up my brain. Love eggs, love eggs, I can't get enough. Love eggs, love eggs, they're hatching in my gut. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, this doctor needs to be... (laughs) Outed. It needs to be looked at, yeah. definitely. Well, the love eggs represent Fathington Cheshire Davies. Got it. And the love bugs represent when those eggs hatch. And what does the doctor represent? 
My my, <laughs> you stumped him. <laughs> He's you got a look of terror on your face. <laughs> you know, I haven't really thought of that. <laughs> well, the lyric just kind of came out. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where you would put in the uh, Instagram stories <laughs> lyrics. Yeah, yeah well, we'll have to do some type of. Uh, yeah, maybe you could edit a little bit, like update maybe update on his shirtless selfie, Farthington. Mm. He's a pretty good looking guy. Charismatic yeah. too. All his Insta stories are so funny. Yeah. God. Damn it, he's funny. <laughs> yeah, man. What does he do? His Insta stories are so fucking funny, dude. Is it just like him going around his day, or do they feel like they he's thought about? No, them? he's just going around his day. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what would be funny? worse. For, yeah. What would be worse for you? <laughs> that seemed terrible. to crush you. So yeah. they're just they're just off the cuff, hilarious, totally oh. improv, just wow. Playing around in his house. Hey, he'll sit on his bed and tell a story. Then he'll be like outside, and mm. it's just very ah, light, easy. That daft boozer. What mm. does that mean? <laughs> you, you've repeated that. No, you what know, is, is that, uh, daft. Uh, I know is crazy or stupid, and boozer is someone yeah, who drinks anchor. a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You sound, like you're trying to, you sound like you're trying to convince yourself. I'm trying to think of something else that sounds kind of like that. <laughs> you know he got an, an endorsement, like an alcohol sponsorship. Whoa, that daft no, loser. Not Parrot Bay. Yeah, <laughs> it is Parrot Bay. Shit, Fathington. Were you up I've for that? I've been going after Parrot Bay for uh, years. Uh, I love Parrot Bay. What is Parrot Bay? Is that a rum? What yeah, is- it's like it tastes like sun lotion. <laughs> Okay. How do you know? I love it. But he's not even the worst member of my band. Oh, well, I the person even... who took your place is not the worst member no, of your band. the snake Sebastian Darlington Winterton. Oh, no. Who, yes. What did he play? The drum machine or the synthesizer? Synthesizer. Synthesizer. Yeah, I recently walked in on him having intercourse with my new wife, Francesca, in our marital bed. Oh, no. Is I this know. why the band broke up? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, your wife. Yes. Your wife in your in marital bed. Marital bed. Is that a separate the, bed you have? Uh, for yes, a, from, from when we got married. <laughs> and then you switched beds the, day two of the marriage? Yes. Yeah, well, and it, it was the honeymoon bed. <laughs> it was a honeymoon bed for about six months. Yeah. That's cool. Like a lot of beds in your house. A lot of ritual. Yeah. Well, this, this sounds like a terrible guy. Surely you haven't written a song about him. I have. have. You. What? This next song... <laughs> Is about what it's like to be betrayed by the same. <laughs> the same what? <laughs> it's about being betrayed at the same time by the best man at your wedding and the woman who told you, I do. Mm. Mm. I made a reservation at the restaurant of love where they only have tables for two. Instead of taking my order, the waiter gave me a kiss. Instead of food, I ate perfume. <laughs> the Love Restaurant failed its recent health inspection because the kitchen is infested with rats. I'm not talking love rats. These are regular rats, and they're biting all the customers and staff. I got food poisoning at the Love Restaurant. Pretty sure it was caused by the rats. I posted a one heart review on Yelp.com slash love. Then the business owner contacted me privately. He said, why'd you give my restaurant a one heart review? I said, because it was full of rats. He said, this is a small business and this review could ruin me. He cried over the phone and said he was trying his best. Thank you. <laughs> Never gets to a chorus, does it? Oh, man. You get a lot that of That one is all new words. <laughs> all just it's all new the whole way through. It new felt words? Like you'd done yeah, it. I, that was my inspiration. New words the whole way through. <laughs> Meaning Don't repeat words. a thing. Oh, I see. So words we've heard of, but just. <laughs> yes, not new so words. So if you in ever said. Language. If you ever said the in that, you never said it again. Never. <laughs> Uh, let me look. <laughs> no. Nope. May, no. Okay, wow. You can go back and check it off. They're all new. Right. So most of that was a metaphor, but you say the rats are real? Uh, yes. The restaurant res- represents my failed marriage, and the rats, uh, like I said, those are just regular those rats. Those are regular rats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So there were rats in your failed marriage? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what percent well, yeah, of what we had a rat problem? A rat. Is that what led to you breaking up? Well, yeah, you take inspiration from everywhere. You know, you yeah. pull from all over. Chelsea, what what? Uh, what percent of what you sing about is a metaphor <laughs> versus concrete and real? Well, it comes and goes. That person, that song <laughs> there was one afternoon. Oh, uh, okay. So that was all real. So, yes. And the, and the owner of the restaurant was your wife contacting you saying that you well, she's now, a small business. I was writing a song and I was doing some Yelp reviewing. <laughs> okay. okay. And it kind of bled into each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool because that's, that's cool. like yeah. making real life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. But that song is about my best friend having sex with my wife. That's terrible. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, and it's been awful. You know, my my mm. mind has been going to some really morbid places. I can um, tell. Yeah. Yeah. And last night I actually had. Um, some thoughts of suicide. No, not suicide. Oh, <laughs> my God. Do you, you need you, to call us some emergency? You say well, it's so cute. I can't tell whether this is a well, serious... Well, I was about to commit suicide uh, <laughs> by taking a bubble bath with my synthesizer. And oh, that's a terrible... I mean, if it were plugged in, yeah. yeah. Is it battery operated? It or? is. Big batteries, though. Car batteries. A couple of car batteries. Car batteries, which yeah. would electrocute you? They would you... have done me in, for sure. Okay, yeah. No. Um, but at the last second, I decided, <laughs> No. No, instead I need to channel my depression into a song. Into your arts, that's yes. great, yes. So this last oh. song is called <laughs> Existence is Emptiness. Mm. Depression. Sadness. Madness. <gasps> All aboard the train of love. <laughs> We're going full steam ahead. Choo-choo, the caboose is full of broken hearts And the conductor is a kiss Train of love, full of broken hearts I must steer us straight to the train station of love There are train tickets and newspapers there But I'm always too heartbroken to read them Ooh. It's the train, it's the train the train of love, I pull the levers, so many levers. The train of love, I'm shoveling coal, it's shaped like hearts on the train of love. Choo, choo, choo! Thank you. Wow. I, that <laughs> one, I actually, that was the best one, and yeah. I'd love to hear it sung by a different singer just to yeah. see, like, someone whoa. like the new singer in your band. What yeah. they could do with some of those notes. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> it also, if I might say, is the most reminiscent of your previous work. No, that's. It's a brand new song uh, that I wrote on the way here, yeah. uh, and it's completely original. In it, every it seemed way. like you used the same ABC sample that you did on all in your previous appearances. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think we were all pulling we'll from each know. other. We'll, we'll never, never know. know.